He said, some people say, I don't believe in the Qadr of Allah. Now this negates faith, right? Not believing in the Qadr because it's one of the pillars of faith. But believing in the Qadr and not being pleased with it, being discontent is a sin. But it does not take the person out of the fold of Islam, right? And the, uh, the Prophet وسلم, said about Qadr, فَمَنْ رَضِيَ فَلَهُ الرِّضَى وَمَنْ سَخِطَ فَعَلَيْهِ السَّخَطْ Whoever is content will get the pleasure of Allah Azza wa Jalla. Allah will be pleased with him. And whoever is discontent, is not pleased with the Qadr of Allah Azza wa Jalla, will be deserving of the wrath of Allah Azza wa Jalla. Why? Because it's a sin. It's like you're not pleased with Allah. You see, the, the issue here is that people refer to it as the Qadr, as if the Qadr is something that happens on its own. As if the Qadr is not something that is in control of Allah, as if it is not coming as a result of the command of Allah. It is simply, Allah says be. Allah says kun, doesn't say be. Allah says kun for something and it happens. What happens is the Qadr. When that happens, it is the Qadr Resulting from the, the, the command. The belief, the belief that, that, that is that other exactly. So when you say, I am not pleased with this, this doesn't happen on its own. So you're not pleased with the one who caused it to happen, who decreed for it to happen. That's why he becomes deserving of the wrath of Allah because he's not pleased with Allah. In plain words, when you're, you're, when you're not pleased with the Qadr, you're actually not pleased with Allah Himself. So you become deserving of the wrath of Allah.